An independent film shot right here in Southeast Texas has been getting rave reviews at a number of renowned film festivals, including Sundance and South by Southwest. And your chance to see it is coming up. We are honored to have joining us today Kat Candler, who is the director of Hellion, and producer Kelly Williams, who is from Port Natius. Welcome, you guys. It's good hey, to see you again. Yeah. yeah, good to see you too. Good to be back. So um, you spent quite a lot of time here. How many weeks shooting the film? Uh, four, four weeks. It was four a four-week shoot, yeah. but we were yeah. here for uh, we were here for two or two three months. weeks before. Yeah. yeah, two whole months. And then you came back a little bit after to finish up some yeah. tidy up some things. Yeah. Kat, yeah. how did you how did you choose Southeast Texas? Because I understand you're the one who chose, or who chose? She well, chose. he's okay. I chose it. He so we had made a short film mm -hmm. that Hellion's sort of based off of, and someone on the short said, "I think this world lives in Port Arthur, Texas." Mm -hmm. And then Kelly said, "Oh, I happen to be from there." <laughs> <laughs> so he started taking me down here, and I just yeah. uh, fell in love with the area and the people mm -hmm. and it got my little wheels spinning story-wise mm -hmm. and uh, back what a year later yeah about a year later to yeah. shoot it we back to shoot it yeah. just crazy last fall so how did you when I was on set the day that I was on set we talked a lot I'll talk to your parents who were lovely people I love <laughs> them I have to give awesome. them a shout they out they were awesome they're incredible they fed the entire <laughs> cast and crew and everybody every single day yeah. um, how did all of it come about because I know there was it took a lot for the community to come together and kind of help you guys make this film yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. the community, we wouldn't have been able to make this movie without yeah. the community here. And um, it was, it was like everybody was bringing, you know, cookies to set to donating football stadiums. <laughs> I mean, people rallied homes. around the film. Yeah, yeah, yeah homes. homes. Yeah. It was incredible. A lot of, um, a lot of uh, extras that came out. It was, it was great. Mm -hmm. yeah. So tell us this kind of the storyline when, when, um, when, uh, when we are able to go see the movie. What, what, what should we look for? What should we expect? Sure, it's a it's a drama about a father and his two boys. His two boys are sort of unruly, and the oldest one who's grieving over over his mother in a very destructive way. Mm -hmm. um, and his father's absent behavior gets the youngest one taken away by child protective services. So it's about the two of them kind of taking responsibility and bringing little man home with a little bit of heavy metal and a little bit of motocross yeah. in there. Yeah. I like the motocross, <laughs> and I, I, I read, a, and you'll refresh my memory, I read one of the critiques Jiggy that boy, said Jiggy. something about heavy metal and uh, what was it? It was so it was so well written. Was it heavy metal lyrical? Yes, yeah. <laughs> heavy metal lyrical yeah. is uh, how, how one, yeah. uh, one critique uh, described the movie. Yeah. So, um, so uh, Josh Wiggins, is that correct, is, is a newcomer. He's yeah. the, the main child in this. Yeah, he's, um, he came out of the Houston area mm -hmm. and um, had never acted before outside of the YouTube videos yeah, that he made. Yeah, a friend of mine saw him on, uh, was casting for another film and saw him on YouTube mm -hmm. and was like, who's this kid? That he, he was in a YouTube video with a kid that was in one of the, the original short. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't know, but he really pops on screen. Mm -hmm. So we brought yeah. him in and read him and he was a total natural. So. And now he's starring in studio movies. Yeah, yeah. excellent. Oh, so he, this has really he's been his start. Up. That it just really, gave me yeah. goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's already, uh, he's on his third film now. He's on his third film yeah. now. So, and was this his, his first real film, or should I say long film, was with you guys, yeah. correct? Yeah, his not yeah. first like non-YouTube yeah. video. Yeah, video, <laughs> yes. yeah. yeah. And um, who else is in the movie? Uh, Aaron Paul plays mm -hmm. the father uh, from Breaking Bad fans, mm -hmm. uh, and Juliette Lewis mm -hmm. from Natural Born Killers plays the aunt that yeah. the youngest is plays with. Yeah. And then talented. Dalton, who you had here yeah, earlier. Yeah, Dalton was yeah. here earlier today, and he's he's from here, yeah. correct? Yeah, he's, he's a local. And how many locals would you say were, were used in the making of this? Because I know all the extras and the different different scenes. In the making? Yeah. <laughs> a lot. In the yeah. making, most, a whole yeah, lot. We, we really could not have done the movie without everyone here. I think, yeah. you know, majority of the cast is, is local. I mean, Aaron mm -hmm. and Juliet, obviously, from out of town. Right. All five of our boys are from Texas. Mm -hmm. um, but Dalton is from Port and Right. Yeah, so it's it's a all predominantly uh, Texas cast. For yeah, sure, so. excellent. So the premiere is tonight. Tickets are already sold out for that, but people will be able to see it soon. Tell us about when. Yeah. Right. Well, it's actually going to open at Central Mall uh, mm -hmm. on June 27th for mm -hmm. one week only. Uh, so tickets are already on sale there, uh, and it's also available on VOD mm -hmm. uh, starting Friday. But uh, but yeah, check it out in the theater. That's yeah. The you want to see that see on the big it. screen? Yeah, you want to see it on the sure. big screen? And yeah, yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much. We appreciate it. I can't wait to see it tonight. <laughs> Thanks for having Thanks. us. All right, we're not finished yet. We'll be right back.